Hi everyone, this is John. I'm in LA. I think I'm actually in East LA, which is Boyle Heights. Um, it's a cool neighborhood. Uh, it's an old neighborhood. A lot of history here. Uh, Latino, Hispanic, um, a lot of great restaurants. Um, lately I've been sort of on this sort of uh, vintage kick, if you want to call it that, uh, where I've been watching these documentaries on old El Los Angeles or the history of Los Angeles. And they always show these cool photos from, you know, 100 years ago or more. And there's a lot of buildings that don't exist anymore. A lot of cool looking buildings that don't exist anymore. Um, but actually I found this one. It's the Boyle Hotel, or at least that's what it used to be. It was built in 1889. And it was one of the bridge buildings that took it from a farm, Los Angeles to a farm, from a farming community to a, you know, the modern metropolis where we know. So I'm set up on the street corner across with an 85 millimeter lens. Hey, how's it going? All right. Ready for some Dodgers? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Game six. Oh yeah. Go Dodgers. So for this first shot, I'm set up with a uh, my Canon 85 millimeter. Um, it's pretty simple. I have the rotunda center frame. I'm actually kind of bothered by, uh, there's this arch that looks kind of cool, but there's a sign on it that uh, to me is really distracting. So I might change the angle, but I'm starting here uh, I'm at F8, uh, 80th of a second, two second timer with a remote, boom. And going with the vintage theme, or, or you know, old style theme, um, I've been collecting these uh, vintage lenses, and I thought it'd be fun to to photograph some of these, and maybe do a little photo walk with it. Uh, this first lens, it's a uh, Jupiter 9. Um, it's an 85 millimeter lens, uh, Soviet made. I think this copy was made in the Czech Republic. Um, what I understand of this lens, it's a direct copy of a uh, Zeiss, an old Zeiss lens from I think the late 30s, or early 40s, something like that. Um, it's funny because uh, I was watching these videos on vintage lenses where this guy was just showing cheap lenses, but the videos from like three or four years ago. And a lot of lenses now, they were cheap then, like, you know, you get 50 bucks, something like that. Now, because everybody's seen those videos, it, you know, it's gotten a little more pricey. But I found this online for 80 bucks. I, I, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, so um, it's a the the mount for it's an M42 with a thread, um, and I got this adapter to put on my EOS R. You just screw it on like so. Swap out the lens. There we go. So it's an all manual lens where the aperture is manual and the focus is manual. Um, it's got two manual set or settings for the aperture actually, where uh, you actually set the aperture to where you want it to be. And there's a dial where you actually can control the, the aperture and it's easy to forget to do both. So I have this one also to set to F8. Uh, I'm using the focus assist where, or live view where you just zoom in and focus. It's not the sharpest lens. I thought it'd be fun to do a comparison nonetheless. So here we go. Keeping along with the vintage theme, I actually brought a second uh, vintage lens. I thought I'd actually go for a little photo walk. I've never really explored this neighborhood, uh, so I thought I would. Uh, this is a Helios 44M 58 millimeter. So let's go for a photo walk. Uh, I'll bring you along. So my car was parked in a 10 minute spot and I had been there for a little over 20 minutes. So I thought I should find a better spot. Uh, 
down the ways a bit. There's a fat cat on the car over there. Let's see if it'll stay put for me. So I'm starting with a Jupiter 9. It's kind of a funny lens. It's not my favorite because it's soft. But I'm trying to get used to that because as I'm looking down this alleyway. I'm sort of missing on the point of why I got this lens. One, just I thought it looked interesting in the video I saw, of course. But it's got its own character that the Canon sort of can't do. So like I said, I've never really explored East LA before. Uh, true confession, I've actually avoided it in some ways because one, usually when I go to LA, wherever I'm going, be it downtown or to a Dodger game, I don't really come through this neighborhood. But I gotta confess, I don't always feel safe here and that's something I need to get over in a personal way. So what better way than just to walk around and see what there is. So I'm actually going to switch to the Helios lens. It's a 58 millimeter. So both of these lenses, they're M42 mounts. Uh, they're threaded. And as I've been collecting vintage lenses, I've been looking ex exclusively for lenses that are, have the M42 mount because I only need one adapter. So it's nice to uh, keep things easy. And it's cool because you can just work with my digital camera. It's like I was saying, I got this Helios lens um, because it has something called a swirly effect when you blur the background. That thought looked kind of cool. Um, there's these flowers over here, maybe it'll show the effect, give you an idea. Uh, let's see. Let's try these flowers here. So as you can see the background on that photo is a little, it's swirled. So you have to have the aperture at its widest opening. This lens goes to F2. And it's kind of, I don't know, just kind of fun. I don't know if I'd use it for every photo. Oh, just something fun. It's funny, I remember a long time ago, uh, I was looking to be in a band and I met a guy who did studio recording music for like session music, session recording. He was a guitarist. And he was telling me like, when you're in the studio, the only lens or the only guitars you use are uh, either a Stratocaster or a Les Paul. And I thought, that sounds kind of boring. I get what he was saying, because, you know, they're, they're good middle of the road, classic and good. But I don't know, I felt like if everyone was using Fenders, or Stratocasters and the Les Paul, you know, it gets kind of boring. Everything will sound the same after a while. Everybody will look the same. Kind of boring. Life shouldn't be boring. Now a question would be asked, would I use vintage lenses on a commercial job? Maybe not, so it kind of makes me a hypocrite. But maybe I would, you know. You don't have to necessarily just use one lens. Since it's digital, you know, film's cheap. Try both. So, as a fat Greek man, I gotta be honest. I like food, and I'm smelling food. There's a taqueria right there that just opened up at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, but you can smell something cooking, and it smells good.
that. <laughs> that meal was a, what I might call epic. Uh, Birria. I've never really had Birria, Birria until a few months ago. Growing up in Southern California, I thought I've had Mexican food and a large variety of it. And then someone offered, hey, do you want to try some Birria? It's like, what's that? So they brought it around. It's uh, meat, I think it's lamb, with this uh, dip that they put it in. It's like the meat sauce. It's super non-vegan, but it's super good. It's funny, um, as I was waiting for the food to be brought to the table, I started reading a little bit of history on uh, Mariachi Plaza. And it was actually kind of sad. Uh, in the last, you know, with COVID and everything, a lot of things have been shut down. And so I'm here on a Saturday morning and normal Saturday mornings, this place would have a market going on, like street vendors, that kind of thing, and mariachi bands. But with COVID, a lot of the members of the mariachi bands, for example, have died, or they'd be, they went to Mexico to play for parties, that kind of thing. But their, uh, the border was shut and they couldn't come back. So they're stuck. Um, so COVID's really had a, an effect on the area. So if you can just see, it's, it's, uh, it's lifeless. I just thought I came, I just thought I came early and, you know, but normally on a Saturday morning, this place would be hopping. But thanks to COVID, it's not. So I'm gonna see if I can get a song. Some photos. There's a trumpet guy here. Puedes tocar un, un canción? No muy bueno, no muy bien. No modelo? ¿Cuántos años por ti? Uh, mariachi yo 42 años. 42. Tengo 61 años, 61 años. So I just talked to one uh, mariachi musician. Uh, he's saying, come back in the afternoon. This place will be a little more hopping. So I'll hang out for a little bit. You know, see what we can get. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, let's let's go downtown for a little while. So from Boyle Heights, I came to Olvera Street. So I switched to my. 58 millimeter Helios lens. Let's do some walk. Do the Olvera Street. Usually it feels like walking through TJ here. All the souvenir shops. 
Sometimes you can find some interesting things here. My favorite, nacho. One thing I do like around here is all the colors. Very vibrant. Pretty dress. I'm not a dress wearer, but I can appreciate a pretty dress when I see one. So I'm back at um, Boyle Heights. I was at uh, Old Vera Street for a little while. I ended up checking out a couple of museums there. They're pretty cool. Um, it's the Italian house. Um, what was the other one? It's an old firehouse. Uh, pretty cool. So gives you a taste of the area. Um, anyway, I'm back at uh, Mariachi Plaza, which is in Boyle Heights. Um, there are more Mariachi guys. My GoPro battery uh, died so I'm using my phone so uh, I'm gonna try to get some video or some photos of some guys so follow along so truth be told I'm a little nervous to go up to these guys because it's a big group I don't have any money anymore to uh, pay them for a picture and they're out here sort of basically working for tips and the, from what I can understand uh, the way they get jobs is now, it's sort of like Uber, but for mariachis, where they get called to come to a party that's nearby, and they just kind of, this is their little plaza, or, you know, their lobby, so to say, they get calls, and they get called to a party. So, pray for me, I need some courage to uh, approach them, so I'm going to try. Is it okay to get a picture? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm back where I started this morning. I'm back at underneath the Boyle uh, Hotel. There's a nice cafe. Get myself a burrito. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it feel, might feel a little wonky. Uh, but I had fun I'm just cruising around today, uh, getting to see Boyle Heights uh, and some culture in Old Vera Street. And so, uh, well, if you have any comments or questions, always feel free to leave them down below. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.